What's going on guys? It's Greg Mises Guys, and welcome to the ECD Pick'em Show Week 10. We've also started with our high school highlights. We put our first one up over the weekend. It was Malvern Prep versus Culver, overtime winner. If you haven't watched it, make sure you go watch it right now. It's a great highlight. And we'll be covering high school all spring long, so if it's a match you guys want us to try and cover, uh, I can see how far I can travel. Leave it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. So we're going to start this episode off with a little unboxing as we have been the last couple weeks and you guys have liked it. Number one, we have the Towson gear for the 2021 season in. This is one of their true gloves as a little teaser. So on Thursday, we're going to have their full gear bag for you guys. So stay tuned. And then I've got another little sneak peek. I can't show you a lot because the news is coming soon. We're going to announce it. But let's see here. It. Did you see it? It. Uh, all right, so we're gonna be announcing that news in the next couple weeks. All right, let's take a look at what happened over the weekend. Tons of big college games really getting into the meat of the season and a lot of conference play, which is much more fun to watch. Really exciting. So in the midweek, we had that big game, Duke versus Syracuse. It was back and forth, and Q's actually made a really good comeback. And the Duke goalie had to make a crazy save in the last seconds of the game to save it from going into overtime. Duke takes down Syracuse in the ACC. Uh, we also saw a little bit of news that I failed to break in a previous episode. T.D. Erland is officially at Denver. He is officially playing, and he made his debut over the weekend. And to uh, everyone's surprise or nobody's surprise, he went 14 for 14. Perfect at the X for the day. And there was a lot of people chirping on Twitter about the uh, NCAA rules committee, how um, maybe their rules didn't need to be made because he's still pretty dominant. And then looking at an upset, Towson beat Loyola. So Towson, who we sponsor, obviously, we've talked about as having a little bit of an off season. Loyola has been having a decent season, and Towson upset them at home in overtime. So go Tigers. Gear back this Thursday. Um, and then finally, Big Ten matchup, Maryland Rutgers rematch. I picked this game incorrectly. I thought Rutgers could take the rematch at home. Initially, it looked like they were going to. They were playing really well, but Maryland looks really strong. They were just too much for them. Mounted the comeback overcame a first half deficit or first quarter deficit and ended up beating them in the rematch. So Maryland now 6-0, Rutgers falling back in the Big Ten. So I picked 50% of the games I gave you in the last episode. I got the Notre Dame game wrong and I got the Rutgers game wrong, but I did get the Albany game correct. All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard. We've still got Aiden Turner at the top. He's been at the top every week, continues to pick really consistently. I continue to drop in the rankings. I only picked 15 right this week. That's really bad uh, compared to the lead this week. The winners picked 21 correct, so I did really bad. Um, so 21 correct for this week. Our individual week giveaway uh, is going to be Drew Koch and just Tommy. So you guys both picked 21 correct. Congratulations, we're gonna do a tiebreaker. All right, so our winners this week tied with 21 picks correct are Drew and Tommy. I've got here our classic LaxCon prize wheel to pick the winner. So whoever is selected is gonna win that Carbon MTX. Here we go. Drew, what's your last name? Drew Koch, you have won the custom. We will, nope. Drew, you have won the Carbon MTX. We'll send you an email, get that out to you. All right, so now let's take a look at the games upcoming for this week. It is another huge week, and it has my favorite matchup of the whole year coming up on Tuesday, and that is Duke versus UNC. Uh, what they, they call it? Tobacco Road? The Battle of Tobacco Road? Tobacco, tobacco Road. Tobacco. Something with Tobacco Road, because they're like 15 minutes away from each other. They play on Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, you're going to be able to watch this game on TV. And it is the two highest powered offenses in college lacrosse going at each other for what's going to be for right now the most dominant team in the ACC. Duke versus UNC, Tuesday night. Do not miss that one. Then with the weekend, more AC action, Q's versus Notre Dame, who I think are both those teams are going to be kind of in the middle of the pack, number three and four interchangeably after Duke and UNC. You'll see them go at it. Navy versus Loyola, that's a big Patriot League matchup. I'm going to pick Navy in that game to beat Loyola. Hoping Loyola's ice cold. And also, again, we sponsor Navy. would like them to win. Um, and then you're going to see TD Erlin in action again with Denver versus Marquette. That's a pretty big Midwest rivalry because Marquette has beaten Denver a good number of times in their conference championships. So in those games, I'm going to pick UNC to win. I think their offense, 
I, you know, I honestly don't know. That's a toss up, but I'm going to pick UNC, uh, Notre Dame, Navy, and Denver. So make sure to enter at the link in the description. Uh, you've got season long prizes you can still win, but this week we're going to give away a custom, whoever the top picker is, you'll get to go on our website, use our customizer, build your own ideal setup, and we will string it up and send it to you. So make sure to enter at the link in the description, check out our customizer, ecdlax.com, ask any questions you want down in the comments. Like if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day.